Hey, Shalom, Israel. First off, I would like to say, call Halal, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim, Rakakadash. I would like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Uh, also, would like to say peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the Akim that's pushing this word and all sincerity and faith throughout the four corners of the earth. For the few sisters that watch and believe, Shalom to you as well. Uh, just with a quick impromptu lesson all through the spirit. I was just thinking about how uh, just through Esau's uh, deception in this uh, stronghold of lies that's, a, that's been established in Great Babylon regarding Yahweh Shah, which we know that Yahweh Shah, our Lord and Savior, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, he was crucified, you know, when he walked in the, in the flesh in the Roman Empire. But crucified, I know I've heard the apostle uh, Gabar go into it. It means basically he was, he was just crossed out, meaning from his true image to his true name, his just true uh, legacy and intention through the will that the father gave to him to accomplish, you know, and just even through the prophecies, you know, we know that he's set to be salvation uh, for the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, that that whole uh, truth has been just uh, completely uh, crossed out just by lies. You got people out there thinking about talking about the rapture. But nothing that identifies Yahweh Shah, as the scripture says, like it says in St. Um, John 7 and 38, he that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So people, they'll proclaim to believe on the Lord and going to tell you what the Lord's intention and what he plans to do. But it doesn't line up with the scripture says. That's the point being made. So these people in this world, they got the Lord messed up, you know. They think the Lord going to come one way, all loving, all uh, tolerant, accepting all just uh, types of behaviors and all manner of demons and do as thou wilt spirits. But that's not the case. These people have the Lord uh, sadly uh, mistaken. They got the Lord messed up. So I think I'm going to put the title to that extent, you know, Lord willing. But without further ado, before I ramble too much, I'm going to just go ahead and hit a, a scripture I was holding. This is in the book of uh, St. Matthew, chapter 10, verse 34. And if you had a red letter Bible, this is the words of our Savior, uh, the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shah, speaking. It says, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. So that cuts uh, people in the churches that are in that uh, John 3.16 spirit that think that the Lord is just going to somehow... Come back and save this whole world. Even people who don't have any fear of the Heavenly Father, they don't have any uh, thought of, of trying to repent and, and come into the obedience of the Lord through faith. You know, just this whole spirit in, in America, you could just do whatever the hell you want and it ain't going to be no type of consequences. We are under grace, you know, so we can just do whatever we want. We just got this big uh, hard pass of of, of just... Uh, wickedness, we can just do whatever the hell we want under this period of grace. But the people in this world, they got the Lord messed up. The Lord says, think not that I'm come to send peace on earth, but I come to send a sword. Because a sword is a, a rod that's going to have to correct this place. Because Yahweh Shah's kingdom as Esau kingdom is destroyed is about to be established on the planet earth. So he's going to uh, basically, uh, it ain't going to be no peace in, 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 in this current rulership. But in the kingdom of heaven, that's what's going to manifest peace on earth. But Yahweh Shah, he's going to destroy Babylon with the sword, you know. And that's why we go into the prophecies talking about the ICBM missiles. And of course, the, the chariots and Yahweh Shah and the angels, you know, everything is going to be in full uh, uh, effect mode just for the overall destruction of America. But that doesn't seem like a peaceful day. Oh, happy day, like the churches sing about. Which the destruction of America is going to be an oh happy day for the elect who are going to take part in that deliverance when Yahweh Shah returns. But for the majority of this world, the sword is going to devour. Whether it be the, 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 the wicked, the self-proclaimed white people, you Hebrew Edomites, whether it be two thirds of the nation of Israel or you other heathen nations, man. If you're not fulfilling the will of the Heavenly Father, if you're not part of the elect, the one third, hey. There's no peace coming to this earth for you when when it comes to who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, man. He's not coming with a, a peaceful protest or just some big spiritual backpack gathering 
you know, everybody and, and just floating off into the spiritual realm. That's not what's going to happen. It's going to be a violent time. That's why the, the scripture says in Daniel's that the, the saints shall take the kingdom by violence. And Yahweh Shai, he's going to lead the charge. Yahweh Shai is not going to beg and, and take a vote with Esau to, to take this kingdom down. You know, these people got Yahweh Shai messed up and his men, you know. That's really all I want to get out of that. That was just one verse. But that 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 whole the rest, if you read down, it goes into just the, the divisive nature that's coming to the earth. That's where Yahweh Shah is establishing, man. And right now, the whole uh, establishment of of righteousness versus wickedness, that line is being clearly defined in the sand. It ain't no gray areas, you know. You either gathering or you scattering, you know. And Yahweh Shah, he's going to come draw the line in the sand. That's the time we're entering into, man. You know, everybody ain't going to just be delivered for doing madness and just for blatantly disrespecting and um, just uh, having no fear or reverence towards the Heavenly Father or His uh, only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah is ready to come and just touch this place, man, to establish righteousness back in the earth. That's why it says in uh, 2 Ezra, the 15th chapter, uh, wickedness had exceedingly uh, uh, polluted the earth. I'm roughly uh, paraphrasing. So wickedness has reached all time pinnacle level. So, man, it's only rightful. So as the scripture says, of course, that Yahweh shall come to set things in order. And the way that he's going to set things in order is going to be in a violent fashion. Contrary to popular belief, man. This is another prophecy. This is Isaiah. Or this is a prophecy, rather. This is Isaiah ch uh, chapter 63, verse 1. It says... Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. So it's asking who? This is a prophecy asking who is that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from, from Basra? And it's really, or it's talking about our, our Savior, the, the, the who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shah. You know? And uh, Basra, that was a chief city in ancient Edom, but that's uh, symbolic of America today, which Yahweh Shah is about to make a visitation upon uh, Great Babylon, a.k.a. America today. And he's coming not lowly as a man like he did the first time in the Roman Empire. He's coming in the fullness, uh, in the, or rather, he's coming in his glorious apparel, meaning in the chariots, traveling in the greatness of his strength with the host of the angels. It says, I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. So that's righteousness that the fact that the Lord's uh, scripture is going to be fulfilled when Yahweh Shah returns to, to save the elect. That's what his name means. He is the savior. And that's the only remedy that's going to get us out of condition, out of the hand of our uh, psychotic mortal enemy from the birth, Esau. Yahweh Shah is going to have to save us, man. And he's going to do it by a violent fashion because he's dealing with the man of violence. Esau's blessing was the sword. Now, we can't, uh, through carnality, take up any weapons to come up against him and win. Yahweh Shah, he's going to have to make intercession for us. He's going to have to do it. He's going to use us, of course, to do it, like the scripture says in Jeremiah, uh, I believe, the, the 51st chapter. But nonetheless, Yahweh Shah going to lead the charge. It says, Isaiah 63 and 2, it says, Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel? In thy garments like him that treaded in the wine fat. So it's talking about Yahweh Shah's garment, man. You know, it's going to look like he was uh, treading in a wine fat. You know, like meaning when you uh, around the, 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 the grapes, his garment just going to be full of blood. That's what it basically means, man. That means Yahweh Shah, he's going to be doing a lot of slicing and dicing and getting busy. He's going to be really in the, in the midst of the conflict, man. Getting down and dirty. I'll read, yeah, I'll read through 64. Isaiah 63 and 3, it says, I have trodden the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me. And I will tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiment. So all of that uh, mysticism and this fake love that these phony so-called Christians talk about in these churches, I guess they not read. They haven't read this prophecy. 
Now, we know that there's a balance to everything. Yahweh Shah, he's about peace. He's about love. He's about salvation for those that uh, are fulfilling his will, the, the will of his father, rather, in obedience through faith. But the majority of this world, he going to trample them in his fury, in his righteous anger. Because it's just too much disrespect on, on the name and overall intention of our Savior, Yahweh Shah, going on in the earth today. But everything is about to be set back in order real soon. And it ain't going to be a pretty way. It ain't going to be no cute, politically correct way that Yahweh Shah going to do it. Isaiah 63 and 4. It says, for the day of vengeance is in mine heart. And the year of my redeemed is come. So Yahweh Shah, man, the, 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 the day of vengeance is in his heart. Now, we know according to uh, St. Matthew 24 and 36, he doesn't know the exact hour that the father is going to uh, set him to, to come and, and visit this place. But we know according to the prophecies, it's close. And either way, that day is, is burning in the heart, the heart of the Lord. He's ready, to, he's ready to judge this place. You know? And rightfully so. Rightfully so, man. Righteous judgment is about to uh, be set back in the earth. But the way it's going to be done is not the way people, you know, mainly these bug out so-called Christians think it's going to be, man. This ain't going to just be no heartfelt whole hand campaign, you know, and everybody just get uh, beamed up into the fourth dimension rapture nonsense that they push in these novels and in these churches, man. Just all fantasy and, and fairy tale, And it doesn't uh, uh, line up with what the scriptures actually says. As concerning the day of the Lord. I'm going to get this. This is uh, Isaiah 66 and 15. It says, For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So, and this really is going into the second death. Yahweh Shah is going to lead the charge to the second death to just basically put the nail in the coffin on Great Babylon, a.k.a. America, for all this wickedness. This place is going to have to be burned up. It's going to be a memorial of not how to rule, of just an example of, of just a wicked kingdom beyond uh, whatever was ever written of before time. You know? But the, that's, that's going into the way that Great Babylon is going to be judged, man. This is what's going to happen when Yahweh Shah returns. That doesn't sound like a friendly, loving spirit to me, but for the elect, this is all beauty because the deliverance is coming uh, simultaneously as the destruction is going on. That's why the scripture says uh, uh, they shall scarcely be saved. The elect shall scarcely be saved. So that's going to be we're going to be a terrified. We're going to be terrified ourselves, brothers, man. You know, that's why it ain't uh, advantageous to get no ego and thinking this some type of macho man, Randy Savage campaign. You know, we're we going to have to depend on the Lord to, to get us out of this situation. That's the, the point being made on that. But I'll read this verse and uh, I'll just end out. This is Isaiah 66 and 16. It says, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. So by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, man. Simultaneously, as the, the, the all these different nations are shooting their nuclear missiles on, on America, the Lord. Yahweh Shah with the chariots, the angels from, from on heaven, you know, they're going to be just uh, laser beaming this place as well. And it says that the slain of the Lord shall be many. So it's going to be a massacre. That's what the word mass, when you go into it, it, it means massacre. The majority or the masses of this, the people in this world, they're going to be slain when the Lord returns, man. The Lord is only going to uh, uh, save uh, and elect in the one third of the nation of Israel. And for everyone else, they're going to be consumed by that fire, you know. So these people, they got the Lord messed up, you know. The water, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim, Rakah Kadash, that we were able to receive this word to, to know that these things are coming so we can take heed. So for, you know, younger brothers that's watching and just uh, trying to figure out things, man, you're going to have to make some 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 quick decisions before the Lord starts making moves, man. You know, really examine and consider your ways. Repent for brothers that's already in this thing. Just push harder. Just really just uh, strive to grow, you know, in this faith and, 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 and just pray that the Lord just keep the spirit on you to endure to the end. 
because we know that these things will come. You know, we're not exempt from these things, you know, until we're, we're, we're saved, until we're on that chariot, Lord willing. But I'll just end out on that. Uh, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Kakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect.